into that grass, hopefully turning green as we enter spring officially by Saturday. So last week of winter, good riddance, but we will see a chance for some snow by midweek. Right now, rain, snow mostly moved off to the north. Still overcast skies across the Omaha metro. Temperatures into the 30s, 40s, a little bit further south. Fall City 44, Maryville 44 right along with it. 32 at Carroll. I think we're going to stay away from some of those slick roads. Ground still a little bit too warm. Wind gusts still pretty strong, 20 to 30 miles an hour. That'll continue until at least mid afternoon. We're also still seeing a few flood concerns, minor flooding expected for the Big Blue River, Lincoln Creek, Turkey Creek, and you can see the entirety of Gage County through at least Wednesday into Thursday. Now that rain that we did have again, Far off to the north, we're going to watch some dry air moving overhead. Still seeing a slight chance for a few showers later this afternoon, especially west of the metro. Uh, but as far as the inches and inches of rain that we've had, that is now gone. As we head throughout the day today, again, mostly dry. And this is a newer forecast model. I'm going to show you a little bit further out as we head into midweek and my concerns with Wednesday. Today, I think this overdoing it just a little bit, but a brief shower, not out of the question. Waking up on your Tuesday morning, 6 a.m., starting off dry. We'll see a chance uh, to the northwest of some rain snow by Tuesday mid morning, generally looking below a half an inch that moves out pretty quiet for the most part. Cloudy though on your Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday starting off dry. But now watch this Wednesday afternoon. We'll see a slight chance for some thunderstorms. About a 70% chance for some rain and then overnight Wednesday into Thursday. Depending on the temperature, we could be talking snow accumulation. Now today, mostly overcast, some light showers to the west. Highs this afternoon into the 40s to lower 50s. 50s bounce back by tomorrow, pretty close to where we should be. And then for St. Patrick's Day, looking wet and windy. Now for 